We do want to turn now to our GMA cover story, Dancing with the Stars Pro and new mom, Sharna Burgess, sharing her postpartum struggle, what she calls super dark thoughts after giving birth to her son. Ariel Reshef is back with more on that. Ariel, good morning. Hey again there, Wit. Sharna was really candid in our conversation, telling me that early motherhood has been beautiful and joyful, but also terrifying, frustrating, and confusing at times. Those intrusive thoughts creeping in, and now she wants other moms to know they are not alone. This morning, Dancing with the Stars pro Sharna Burgess opening up about battling back against intrusive mom thoughts. I would imagined the absolute worst case scenario and I felt myself having this panic attack, which I've never had a panic attack before. The new mom to five month old baby Zane with partner Brian Austin Green posting on Instagram, letting fans oh in God. on her experience with crippling postpartum fears. Oh my God, what is that? The worst case scenario when I was with Zane, so walking downstairs and not just a fall on your butt slide down the stairs, but a full on tumble and me ending up on top of him. The driving in the car multiple times, it would become such a very real vision of a car slamming into me and the car rolling and the jaws of life coming to get him out of the car. It's so real that it's paralyzing. Studies show at least 70% of new moms report unwanted intrusive thoughts about infant related harm. The most important part through all of this is giving voice to these anxious feelings and making sure that you have the ability to bond with your baby in ways that are healthy and promoting good bonding. The more people I spoke to, I understood, yes, this is something that happens to moms. What are some of the coping mechanisms that you have taught yourself in order to get through this? A big thing to understand is how crazy and chaotic those thoughts are. Taking a deep breath and really looking at the thought and saying, is this a realistic thought? And recognizing it and saying, no, it's not. And I did start therapy again. And I thought, I don't want this to get out of control. I can't be having panic attacks. Um, and I feel like I need some tools to deal with this. Were you nervous at all to share your experience? There was an amount of maybe anxiousness or nervousness in sharing that, but definitely not fear. I think it is powerful for women to know that they aren't alone. When you think your, your issues, your problems or your thoughts are singular, you feel very isolated. And to know that there is a community of people that are like, I feel you, I've been there. It is an important message, and Sharna says she is still a work in progress, but those thoughts are now less vivid, and after seeking therapy, she has more confidence to handle them. She wants other moms to know there is no shame in admitting that you are struggling, and doctors say if your worries impair your ability to function, reach out to your OBGYN or another trusted physician for help. Cecilia. Such an important message there, Ariel. Thanks so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here, so go on, click Click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.